overnight, two more area gun shops were broken into. This comes after the burglary at Armageddon Supplies in Janesville, where seven guns were stolen Monday night. Police say this time 17 firearms were stolen from Max Creek Outdoors in Oregon around 3.30 this morning. A silencer and cash was also taken. A couple hours before that, thieves broke into another gun shop, CTR Firearms in Janesville. They didn't get any guns, but they did get away with some cash. And at this point, police don't know if the burglaries are connected. Belina Jones caught up with the owner of CTR Firearms, who explained explained why their guns were safe. CTR Firearms is one of three gun shops that have been broken into over the course of the last week, but they're the only ones where the thieves didn't get away with any guns. The owners say this room is the reason why. The damage left by the thieves, two broken windows and around $200 in stolen cash. The owners, Chris and Charity Injuries, says it could have been a lot worse. No access was granted whatsoever. So when the Janesville Police Department, when we opened the store, everything was still here. CTR Firearms in Janesville has always kept their firearms and ammo in a safe. Three months ago, they added more security, building a concrete vault to keep their nearly 300 guns safe behind two 20-bolt steel doors. To me, it's invaluable. Well, when I open this business, um, I swear I'd keep my guns locked. Um, I just don't want to get a phone call saying some six-year-old kid was shot with a firearm that was stolen from my store, period. Janesville police say security video shows three men in their late teens to early 20s smashing a window to get into the store. Police arrived on scene within five minutes, but the suspects were gone. Police say the store's extra security helps keep the community safe. They realize that gun stores are targets for, for criminals, and uh, they've, they appear to have taken extra steps to prevent um, the theft of guns, which, which is appreciated. The guns remain in the vault 24-7 with access to customers during the day. Indri says as far as he knows, his store is one of the only ones in the nation to take these precautions and has gained national recognition from the ATF. That was Valina Jones reporting all agencies will be meeting tomorrow to investigate if these burglaries are related. A proposal in the state legislature is hoping to address this issue. Democratic Representative Lisa Subek of Madison proposed the bill in October. It would require gun retailers to lock up their guns in safes when their businesses are unattended. Federal rules currently only require gun shop owners to lock their store entrance doors after hours.